Hey Sienna, Ryan Adams here, the Adams Group at Real. Want to know the difference in how homes are selling that are zoned to Crawford High School versus how they're selling that are zoned to Ridgepoint High School? I'm gonna tell you exactly how they're doing in this real estate market update for October 2024. <music> Welcome back. Thanks again for following us. As always, we try to provide you a monthly market update of what's going on right here in Siena. We love Siena. We want to continue to see this uh, neighborhood develop, grow. By the way, how about this fall weather? How about the retail stores we see coming in? And it looks like it's continuing to grow. Very excited about that. We are also opening up an office in Siena. We're very excited about coming soon in the next few months. We'll keep you posted as that comes along. So I want to tell you how the market is doing in Siena, both from the buy side, sell side. And then I've put together some analysis to go, how are homes that are zoned to Ridgepoint selling versus how are they selling that are zoned to Crawford? But before we get into that, if you have not done so, take a minute to subscribe, leave us a comment with any questions you might have. Always feel free to reach out to us and we'll be glad to help you in any way we can here in Siena. Well, first thing I'll say is the market feels slow as molasses. It's not as bad when you look at it on paper, but it feels really slow. Homes are sitting a lot longer. We'll get into the numbers of what that is. There's less buyers. Is it the election? Is it people that maybe are waiting for the election to happen? Maybe it's the interest rates. They're waiting for, the, for those to drop even further. Although the rates right now are based on what we know is coming as far as cuts are concerned, those are already been factored into that. And a lot of people think that the Fed rate cut has a lot to do with the 30 year mortgage, which is most people use. It doesn't really, but there is some correlation. All that to say is, as I've said before, and I've put in a couple of videos like this one, if you know you're thinking about buying or you know someone wanting to buy it is a great time to buy because there's a lot of inventory again we'll get in the numbers and you don't have as much competition so you have the ability to do that and if you're thinking about making a change within Sienna maybe you want to downsize upsize whatever it might be probably a good time to do that right now here we go so we're basically comparing numbers from September 2023 to 2024 and that's the best way we can measure that active listings in Sienna right now there's 243 again like it was last month that is up 32.7 percent the most listings we've had on the market since, my goodness, 2019. Average sales price is $588,861. That's almost exactly even within a few hundred bucks of where it was just last year. Not a high increase right now, overall sales price for the year. Average days to sell, this is continuing to rise. It's up to 79, which is an increase of 60 eight percent super high number that it has jumped to and i had predicted this two months ago and uh seeing that this will probably happen again for all of october we will probably see the days on market increase so as if you're thinking about selling just know it's probably going to take a minute the homes that tend to be selling the quickest are the ones that are upgraded turnkey have special features in there like pools spas nice outdoor kitchens something that they don't have much to offer and i'll get again into crawford high school versus rich point what's happening there. Uh, how many homes are selling in Siena for the month of September? We had 47. That is down 11.3% from what we had in September of last year. Of those 47, 23 of those were resale and 24 were new. We are still getting good sales on the new construction and that's about 50-50 split on that. Here's a, another bonus. I'm gonna give you a couple bonus stats and then I'm gonna get into the Ridge Point versus Crawford deal. It's football, football season anyway. Why not just throw a little Crawford versus Ridge Point in there? Some bonus stats for Siena. Uh, the list to sales price ratio has actually dropped to 96.8% last year. It was 98.1%. And to give you a frame of reference, in 2021, it was 100%. So what that means is for whatever you listed for, what are you actually selling it for? And right now it's 96.8%. So keep in mind that if you're thinking about selling. Another key stat is that 42% of the homes that are on the market right now, and that's that 243 that we talked about, have dropped their price already. All right, maybe you've been waiting for this. Homes that are zoned to Crawford versus Ridgepoint, what is happening? If you're zoned to Crawford, you are basically somewhat of new construction in the back. And if you're zoned to Ridgepoint, you're a little bit further north. And I mean, the map, you can you can go to F, uh, Fort Bend ISD, look up the map and see exactly how it's zoned. You know where you're zoned at if you're living in Siena, but here is how it is. Let's start with Crawford High School. So if you're zoned to Crawford High School, the homes that are on the market right now and in the last year, here's kind of the stats. Right now, the ones that uh, have sold in the last year 
it's taken 109 average days to sell. So pretty significant, much higher than Ridgepoint. I'll tell you what that number is in a minute. The average sales price of homes that are zoned to, uh, zoned to Crawford is 573,161. And the current days on market right now for the homes that are on the market is 119 days of the ones on the market. That's the average right now. How does it look comparatively to Ridgepoint? The homes that have sold in the last year that were zoned to Ridgepoint, their average days to sell was just 43 days compared to that 109 days. For Crawford, their average sales price is 629,480. And the homes that are sitting on the market right now that are zoned to Ridgepoint, their average days on market are is 64 as of right now. What does this mean? Well, Here's the reality of what it means is that most of the homes that were, and obviously the numbers for Crawford are not as good as Ridgepoint. What that really means is basically the homes at Crawford have something going on for them that Ridgepoint does not. And that is they are, most of them are fairly new. If I was to tell you the genre that's having the most difficult time selling right now in Siena, it's homes that are four, five, six, seven years old because they are continuing to compete with new construction. So the buyers that are coming to Siena, they're looking at going, okay, do I wanna get this four or five year old home that's been worn in, someone's lived in there, carpet's worn, maybe paints, whatever, or do I wanna just go ahead and get new construction? And of course, with new construction, a lot of those builders are building in incentives that most homeowners can't compete with. Uh, lots of closing costs, price drops, design center credits, all that stuff. So that is what continues to hurt people who are in there. When will that problem be solved? Honestly, it'll be solved when the whole neighborhood gets built out. But the further that, and I've said this before, back when the market was going crazy, the further the price per square foot gets from new construction, the better you're gonna be able to resell. A lot of people who bought their homes back in 2018, 2019, who were in you know the 120, 130 a square foot, prices, they're able to sell it for the 150, 160, 170, because there's a $30, $40 square foot difference from that. So probably till it gets developed out, and this is, this is the case for all over Houston. When you buy a new construction home, just know that you're probably gonna have to wait a minute to allow the, the neighborhood to develop a little bit more before you'll be able to sell. It. Now, again, if you bought it 2020, maybe 2021, you probably still have a good enough amount of equity and, and, and sales prices have continued to rise where you'll be okay. And the forecast still shows that home prices are going to continue to rise, three to 4% each year. All the experts are saying that, it's proven to be the case so far, but it just means if you just bought it and you need to sell now, it's gonna put you in a tight spot if you're trying to get your money back or make a little bit on it. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Hopefully it's good news. Hopefully it's not bad news, but the market is very balanced. May not feel that way. It feels very slow but it is very balanced. Hopefully with these rates coming down and we get through this election, we'll talk, start to see some good movement. And as always, if I can do anything for you, let us know. Have a great fall. We'll see you in November.